up? This is Rockstar again. I'm here to teach you part two of my tutorial. From here, we would have to continue the motion. So you can go anywhere from that. You can come back, reverse, again, reverse, depending on what you feel. From there, I'd probably go to footwork, and then I'd find the step, which would be here. And the reason I pick a step is because a lot of cats would just go straight to a move from there. They don't try to like feel out the music and add text to what they do. So I would try and do something different and unique. And usually footwork is what helps you stand out a lot more instead of just doing your typical air chair or your typical air flare or your typical big flip or big freeze. Then I choose to do something small and technical to let you know that I got variety. It would just be levels of footwork because you're playing with your knee, you're going back up to a freeze, opposite angle, same thing, you go both ways, you know? So you try to add different angles of footwork so it's not always the same thing. You gotta learn how to play with it. From here, I picked this cork transition because from this cork transition, you can open up to anything you want. So depending on the music or how you feel, it's always good to kind of let yourself go a little bit. Because if you do a set, you do the same set every time, it starts to get old. So from there, I can choose to go here, like I said, or I can choose to just unlock my body. Then from there, I'd go to footwork. And here's where I would have to find something to do towards my opponent. And I wouldn't want to do your typical moves that everybody does. So instead, I pick a footwork step that is not so common, which would be knee levels to feet. Through the levels. Then we stop here. And from here, we find how to get to part three. 